Welcome to Boss Battle. You must be ready to get your butt kicked. <laughs> Boss Battle is a rigorous fantasy strategy card game featuring intense asymmetrical gameplay between a ruthless boss and uniquely classed heroes. Boss Battle plays between one to four players. Gameplay is from 45 to 90 minutes. <laughs> That's what I call a party. This game has two modes, co-op and competitive. In this video, we'll be keeping our eyes on competitive gameplay. You know, for our hardcore players. <laughs> if you want co-op, that's another video, rookie. Here's the gist. The winner is the first team to deplete and keep their opponent's health at zero by the end of the countdown phase. Got it? But the boss needs to deplete all heroes to zero health to win the game. Bosses can also win if the game exceeds past the last round. It's up to each player to use their abilities to strategize and destroy the opponent. Listen up now. The battlefield is broken up into two sides. The boss's queue and the hero's queue. Heroes, you each occupy your own lane, while the boss occupies all the lanes on his side of the queue. So don't be putting your cards on the wrong side. Look here. Within these lanes are round slots with numbers inside. The numbers represent how long it takes your card to activate, how long effects last, and where you put your respective card abilities. Each player plays one card per turn and must pay the cost of discarding a card from their hand or bumping back a card in their queue. Heroes, you can work together by bumping back each other's cards. <laughs> and lucky you, some cards have no cost. Cards can only be placed in the round slot that matches the round slot number on the card and in the lane of the person you want to target. Let's say you want to give a little buff to the mage. Put that card in the mage's lane. Want to target a boss's card getting in your way? Put that card in that lane and give that boss a taste of his own ah medicine. <laughs> Don't get too cocky. Some cards are faster than others. You may think you have the upper hand, only to see your opponent's card is quicker than you can say Kobo. Depending on the card type, your card will activate or function in different ways. There are four types of cards in boss battle. Resolution cards. Resolution cards activate one time in the zero round slot during the resolution phase, then are discarded. Active cards. Active cards activate while they are in the queue and deliver support until they resolve and are discarded. Field cards. Field cards offer defense and activate in the zero round slot and stay activated until destroyed. Then, you guessed it, are discarded. Counter cards. Counter cards activate when conditions are met, then discard that bad boy. Every card type is played during placement phase, except for counter cards. Counter cards can be played in any phase, as long as the condition is met, and don't count as a turn taken. Don't go putting counter cards in round slots. It'll just make you look silly. There are specific actions you can take within the different phases of the game. These are the phases in the order they happen. Draw phase. This is where you draw up your base hand size. Placement phase. Boss places his cards first, then heroes, alternating back and forth until the last hero has played. Special phase. Activate your special abilities here if you can. Resolution phase. Here, your cards activate and take effect. Countdown phase. Cards count up in the queue. Rinse and repeat this process until someone comes out victorious. It's the goal of each side to be resourceful playing cards in the queue that will defeat the opponent while trying to stay alive. When you, the players, have gone through enough rounds, you level up, add more powerful cards to your deck, 
and heal a little bit before the next round. Now that you know the gist of the game, gear up and meet me back at the Learn to Spar Guide. I'll show you what a round of boss battle really looks like. <laughs>